Each day at Lemoyne College, we strive for greatness, but always through the eyes of goodness. We're at uh, Best Western. We're preparing for our guardian briefing for Mission 7 for Honor Flight Syracuse. Our mission is tomorrow. We're taking 80 World War II vets to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials built in their honor. Every star symbolizes 1,000 deaths in World War II, and it's a wall that's full of stars. It's very poignant. I heard about Honor Flight through Kara Keys. She's kind of the head of the whole thing at Lemoyne College. She offers it as an opportunity to the nursing students to volunteer and be part of the health and safety team, and we get to go on the trip and spend the whole day with the veterans, so I just thought it was an interesting opportunity. There were over 16 million people who served in World War II, and uh, we lose about six or 700 of them each day. The youngest of the World War II veterans today are in their uh, mid to late 80s. We have a gentleman on our trip today that's 100 years old, and God bless him, he's able to make this trip. 100 years old! The amazing thing about having nurses on these flights and having nurses with the veterans throughout the day is it doesn't matter how old you are, as long as we can get you there and back safely, we're going to bring you. My uncle, um, he's going to be 92 this year. He never had any kids, so there's all of us nieces and nephews, and uh, I ended up being the one that's able to go. The vets do not usually normally talk about their experiences in war, except with other vets. It feels great and knowing people that, that they knew and brought back a lot of memories and a lot of names we talked about. If we hadn't, you know, mentioned those names in like I say 50 years. My family, they all met down here and almost a family get together. We are here to send off the veterans from the Korean War and the World War II veterans for honor flight. It is free to uh, the veterans. It's an honor to do this flight and I uh, do as many as I can, any chance I get. They came home, put their bags away, went to school on the GI Bill and really never told their stories. And today when we take them on a trip like this, the stories just come gushing out. I spoke to a gentleman who's on this trip last Friday and I was asking him where he served and he started telling me stories of the horrors that he saw and started tearing up. And this is 75 years after the fact. I'm going to be going on the honor flight on um, April 30th, and my veteran that I'll be a guardian with will be my dad, Aaron Bradshaw. One of the biggest incentives for my dad is that honor flight has made special arrangements for him to visit the grave sites of his brothers. We went to Arlington Cemetery when I was a little child. Arlington Cemetery is so huge. I remember one day we spent a whole long afternoon walking around and we never did find them. It's got to be really emotional. I yes. can imagine not ever seeing your brothers, you know, mm -hmm. knowing they died and never seeing them. I mean, that's going to be quite a reunion for mm -hmm. them. First, we only found Carl Henry's grave, and we thought that Paul was close. We just randomly just started looking yeah. at stones. His daughter, who's named Paula, is actually named after one of the older brothers who died, Paul Bradshaw. And it was Paula who actually found the grave and it was a God thing. It was a true blessing and I gotta say that was one of the most heartwarming experiences of my life. In World War II they used to do something called mail call. Mail call is where the post office would save mail or the government and they'd put it in these big satchels and once a month people would get mail. On our way home we do mail call. I think that each child that wrote one of these is just wonderful and they get to know that we are real people when they hear the word veteran. I just want to say if uh, you know a veteran in your family that would enjoy this experience it's over the top. The day overall was great. It was a busy day. We got to experience a lot of things. I think the veterans had a great day. Oh, it's been absolutely great. Further than my expectations, everybody, including kids, thanking you and talking to you. Yeah, it's been super. I'll remember for a long time. We are so blessed to have the freedoms that we do because of the sacrifices that they all made. It's really nice to see these men and women as they get into their upper years just had this wonderful experience. When we fly into Syracuse, if you looked out the plane, you would see family members lined up on the fence just cheering with signs saying, Grandpa, we love you, Dad, this, you know, thank you so much for your service. There's a parade led by a bagpipe band and color guards that will go through the airport to the room where we hold a welcome home ceremony usually with about a thousand family and friends and community members there to celebrate the veterans. And lastly, the Lemoyne Department of Nursing, with us from the beginning, with our care of teachers.
I've seen her really work behind the scenes at getting things ready. And that in itself is tiring. The amount of meetings she goes to, the amount of phone calls, the amount of letters and things she has to sift through to make sure that people are cared for on the trip. But when I drop her off at 5.30 in the morning, I know she was asleep not too long before that. She darts out of the car and she puts on a high level of energy and enthusiasm and the smile that lights up the room. She makes the most out of every second on that trip to make sure that everybody's cared for and loved. What she does for the veterans is uh, something that I'm so proud of her. I think the students are able to reflect and really see, wow, this impacts the veterans so much more than I anticipated. And I am able to find ways to integrate what I'm learning here at Lemoyne throughout the campus and all the liberal art courses and all my nursing courses and, and put it to reality. It was probably the most rewarding day in my nursing career. Service, service to someone who served us. We thank the doctors, but we don't always remember to thank the nurses and they're the ones that really heal the patients. At Lemoyne College, we're giving back to the world. By honoring our veterans. Oh!